boy! Nathan Mendelssohn had a plan. Buy an enormous area of land in California's Mojave Desert, lay out some roads, and then divide the bits between them into lots that people could build houses on. Then sell all those lots individually for a profit. There was just one problem with his California city. He built it, and no one came. Buying land and then incorporating a city was a plan that worked for other developers who were building suburbs or cities on smaller scales, but California City wasn't just going to be one suburb, it was going to be enormous. A master planned city sitting in the middle of the Mojave. Even now it is technically the third largest city in California by area. It's a symbol of the futuristic optimism of the 1960s, the space race at full speed, flying cars just around the corner, Walt Disney talking about a great big beautiful tomorrow. Nate Mendelssohn's dream was a new city to rival Los Angeles. Mr. Mendelssohn, I knew him very well. He was a very kind gentleman. A very, he was very bright. He created all the roads to get the city developed. And he built it in order to expand the city out. He originally expected they would develop out there first. On a map, Mendelssohn's plan looks successful. The roads are all named. This is Lincoln Boulevard. Over there is Norbury Street. They are legal roads with speed limits and traffic laws. Your GPS will happily navigate you around them, except they don't go anywhere. They're just geoglyphs scratched into the desert surface for miles and miles and miles. Early days, it was not too many people, like 300. So everything was slow, you knew everybody, everybody helped everybody, you never locked your doors. It was nice. They were selling lots here. They flew people in in DC-3s and landed on a dirt strip. And they brought them in from all over the world and they sold lots everywhere. But it, as time progressed, you know, you hit a slump, why they don't, can't survive. And we had ups and downs, hit lots of them. Now, to be fair to Mendelssohn and California City, the plan did work to an extent. The advertising brought thousands and thousands of people in to buy land as, as an investment, but only a few actually moved here. 15 years after California City incorporated, less than 7,000 people lived here, and a lot of those starry-eyed investors had quietly stopped paying property taxes and let the state of California take back the land. But today, California City is doing fairly well. You know, I think the reality is when people come to California City, and we've had many journalists come over the years, and somehow, I don't know, it's like they get a calling to go out into the desert, and then they see all these carved out roads and that, oh, well, this city just failed. The reality is we're a full-fledged city. There are around 15,000 people living in the southwest of the city, with all the amenities you'd expect a small city to have. And there's employment, too. There's an automobile proving ground nearby. The Mojave Spaceport is in the next town over, and there's an Air Force base a few miles behind me. In my lifetime, will I see California City build out? I won't be a, live another 100 years, but all that vacant land is an asset. Los Angeles doesn't have anything like that. Many communities, they have to annex more property to build, and we have it here. And where can you see all the stars? Someone said to me not long ago, there are more stars in California City than there are in Hollywood. So Mendelssohn's idea for a planned city was sound. He just massively overestimated the demand. Or did he? Because ultimately, he sold most of those lots, all that empty land, even if nothing was ever actually built there. He made his money and moved on to other things. From Mendelssohn's perspective, California City worked perfectly. Hey everyone, it's Bridget from the Field Day team. If you want to see what interested Tom in California City, click the box on the left. And if you want to see the two other videos we released on Field Day today, click that box on the right. As always, make sure that you subscribe to catch all the awesome videos we have for you each month by clicking that blue box in the middle.